I've got the I've got it pulled up. We'll see what it does. Let's go. Time. I just hit the button. It usually takes a second anyway on DCTV, so. Okay, so I hit start. Yeah, because everybody needs to know exactly how insane I am. They do. They're going to figure it out. Doesn't take I mean, long. It doesn't. Hmm. You're That's exactly where it started, Bob. What's up? <laughs> um, there is not much of a delay on Twitch. I like it. All right. Oh, is it on? See, I didn't get a yeah. notification. That's so weird. Oh, there it goes. Uh, right. But we put the only chat that matters. I was going to say, we might, I don't know if anything's happening in there yet, if we need to refresh ours. Is it, is it, okay, there it is. I had to refresh it like four times, but it still didn't notify me. That's weird. Whatever. It's on there. Oh, I, do the I didn't mean to pause it. Refresh. I need to just mute it. There we go. Okay. Is it oh. on DCTV oh. now? Oh, yeah, wait, okay. Yeah. We're on channel okay. four. Yeah, we're on both. Sweet. So, yeah, uh, I sent you guys the message. We're, I don't think anybody's actually watching this yet, in case you happen to be in that we're in pre-show will actually start well so here's here's one of the things to keep in mind on twitch whenever you save it onto twitch you'll get everything that you've streamed so the pre-show yeah. will be on twitch yeah well until yeah. it's no I, longer there we were looking at that and i was like you know that's going to be the same issue we're going to have on youtube if we do the youtube now thing too yeah. and so i was like whatever i guess we're just not cutting it anymore because it's honestly a lot easier <laughs> well i think like the last one i saw uh last of the videos i saw or at least the 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 um yeah the ass tasting <laughs> that's that, phrasing sorry yeah. um <laughs> that's not what i meant the beer oh. that tasted like ass yeah that's right, more right. accurate no i uh, i totally didn't think about i was like so happy to get it uploaded because i was having issues and i was I, I was like anyway i got shit to do and then i didn't like cut it at all <laughs> well i saw that i was like eh, okay this is actually pretty cool and it wasn't it was like it was terribly long on that one i don't think like the before and after <laughs> just i just need to remember not to say uh not to say it like that anymore. <laughs> All right, but yeah, guys, anyone else that's uh, just tuning in, uh, this is a little pre-showy bit. We'll actually kick off the actual show here at 6 Eastern, so about seven minutes. Um, do we have the chat room up on the on the stream? We do. It's just that Tyler's not there yet. <laughs> I mean, I, I typed something, and that's and oh, I haven't seen not it. There. Oh. That's why I was telling her she may need to refresh it. Weird. Okay. Let me check on that. But anyway... <laughs> We've uh, lost an official brewery, another one in Cincinnati. Womp, womp, womp. So uh, boom, boom, Blank boom, Slate boom. closed this week. Who is it? Blank Slate. They were one of the first craft. Oh brewers. yeah. Uh, they started back. Well, in... I thought there was a second one. Okay. Oh no. So yeah, they're gone. He ended up. He just closed randomly. No one knew why. He was. He thought because he's released an official statement since. Saying he thought he could just, you know, close the doors and there'd be no muss, no fuss. It wouldn't be a thing. He didn't know. Yeah, obviously the community kind of freaked out and because there was no word like, oh my God, is everyone okay? <laughs> like, nobody died, did they? Because we're genuine, people were genuinely concerned. And it turned out that he's always operated on a shoestring budget. He owned, There were only three employees, including himself. He said he never turned a profit personally. Yeah, and it's... It came down to I, it. Like, he operated yeah, I, I until heard the day about he it, couldn't. And I, I just assumed that I was like, no, oh, I, I think it's probably just it's not cost efficient and it's Yeah. Because that's the thing. They started the brewery started before tap rooms were legal in Ohio. So oh. they're low yeah, they were always about packaging beer. And then the tap rooms came along and that's when he that he couldn't compete. Yeah. With all these yeah, that, big newer fancy tap rooms and things it just he never had the space for it he couldn't afford to move but it was just really odd how it all went down in the end when he deleted first thing he did was delete all the social media accounts Ooh, really and then yeah and then he deleted the deleted them off of google and if you tried to go to their uh pull them up on google it would just come up with a page that said uh, it was like thanks for all the good times but we're closed permanently which was sad. No. Tyler came into a real bummer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Didn't mean to bum you out. Yeah, that was... So that hurt. It was emotional this week for us in the Cincinnati area. 
But I mean, it and it raises a lot of big questions. You have ten breweries set to open before the end of the year in this town, and you've had two close up this year already. So, uh, who's the other? Oh yeah, the the other one was the one that back at the beginning of the year. bought out. Trying to share out Can... that we're on Twitch and I'm, I'm having a, oh. some fun time issues here. Get those stouts out. <laughs> let them warm up. Oh, yeah. So if you are, uh, no one on Twitch will be drinking along because they had no clue what we were drinking. Um, but people on Diamond Club may have had an inkling. So <laughs> if you actually did buy the pack, get that chocolate habanero stout out and let that baby warm up. You're not going to want it that chilly. Also, yeah, I guess uh, it is time. descriptions for these beers was kind of guard like there's nothing anywhere. <laughs> I grabbed what I could find. Blank blanks late, Tyler. I don't know if anybody answered that yet or not. Oh, oh, sorry. Right. I can't see the chat. <laughs> we're we're I'm, I've got a lot of windows, kids. A lot of windows up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm staring into the face of God. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, we know you like the way you look, but uh, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. I yeah, think, you, I can maybe your big God eyes are uh, what the screen froze on on my side. Huh? Whew, you know, I haven't eaten much today. <laughs> <laughs> Says the man who made himself a gin. Some martini, there. basically. Yeah, we went uh, we went on a ride with Casey during our extreme pre-show. <laughs> Went so he could make a drink and keep talking. So <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. Uncle Casey's wild binge. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, video looks a little better. Uh, we decided <laughs> to splurge on a new webcam so that we don't look, look like better. hot garbage. Yeah. Uh, that was I need cool. to get a new webcam. Okay, keep trying to like re re aim mine right now, and I'm like, what I need is a second boom, like my first boom for my microphone. Like if I can just boom in the cam. Yeah, put it, on a, put it on a little uh, uh, remote control servo so I can like just pan in and out, z you know, do weird little lifts and make it a whole production. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got. I just got it on Facebook, our Twitch link, and again, and once again, we stay, same uh, same branding. Tw have a drink show on Twitch. <laughs> Absolutely. So branding <laughs> because branding. branding. For consistency, oh. as Day Nine would say. <laughs> Man, he needs to get a new Hearthstone video out like yesterday. He's he quit with the Dota crap. Okay. Day Nine. Um, Let me go uh, grab the beers and then we can start in on this. Okay. All right, you've got a minute. I got run, one minute. Crazy, run. run, run while there's still time. Oh yeah, throw up the screen. They don't need to see this. <laughs> They don't need to see what's going on here. I'm so excited. I, you know what? I'm going to look at like a thousand different fonts because we're going <laughs> to, for the new album art, like we're going to have to pick a distinct font, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, so the album art you are all looking at, as you can tell, is a little off because there are four of us. Not just three. Not three anymore. No, Casey's the glass. I'm the ukulele. <laughs> You're just leaning against him because you're drunk. Yeah, that would be accurate. <laughs> we totally saw the glasses that we were talking about for Casey um, at Jungle Gyms. They have them for the Coney Island root beer brand thing. Uh, Casey wants to be a snifter. Oh, I thought he was going to be that little glass. No, oh, he said that he he likes the idea of a snifter with dark beer. Hmm. <clears throat> Oh, I never even thought we could have our, our beer glasses be filled with, you know, other than just beer-ass beer. Yeah, changing it up so that it's not all the same. I like that. I hear the rustling of Mike. Is that, is that Casey back? It's he who shall not be muted. <laughs> so, Casey, you'll have to let us know because I've got the screen up. Um, it is not muted with the screen up. <laughs> All right. All right. So, 
Um, do you want my order? Huh? Do you want the order? What order are we doing them in? Oh, important. The rice is first um, on the list. The rice ale, cherry bombosa, stout, experimental pepper IPA. Okay. That's okay. the order they're in there. Sweet. Perfect. All right. Because I haven't time. even opened that thing up. Pop his tops and right. just kick his baby out. Let's do this. Yeah. Welcome to Have a Drink, the show where you learn along with us about what you drink. I'm Brittany Lee Walker. There was a Justin Frazier. <laughs> Did we lose He's dead Bob? now. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Uh, Walker. I'm Justin Frazier. I muted my mic while I was screaming at my uh, uh, screaming at my cooler. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> like you do. All right. Well, I'm uh, Christopher Walker. My Beach Boys song. <laughs> screaming at my cooler. Screaming My Cooler is the name of my Beach Boys cover band. There you go. That's what I meant to say. Yep, yep. And that's Casey Price, by the way. And I am Casey Price, yes. <laughs> really good first day on Twitch. <laughs> We're doing really well. Really? <laughs> right, on the, right on the rails right now, aren't we? Oh, we are. Was, We're doing great. I so... was clipping the tag off my cowbell. <laughs> so uh, if you're just tuning in on Twitch or Diamond Club, if it were, we uh, do this little shindig every other week. This is obviously video about uh, a certain pack of beer we try to make it national so everyone can grab and drink along it's not always the case though uh i believe this one might well it isn't flying dog is national but it's a little harder to get in some places semi-national sure. semi-national we also Open do up national national ish yeah we also do an audio podcast on the other week so if you're really in the know you can get us every week You'd have to ask uh, Tyler and Nick about that. <laughs> they know Never all mind. about it. I already got way ahead of you, Tyler. <laughs> Thank you, though. <laughs> yeah, no, he's she's on it. So, yeah, uh, the other, the audio-only podcast, which is available anywhere you can get podcasts, is educational. This is more of let our hair down and have a couple drinks. Look, I haven't got enough hair to let it down. Uh, that's why I wear a hat. <laughs> my, my hair's finally getting long enough to let it down, so... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, uh, uh, we are doing the Flying Dog Hot Box, which is all uh, pepper and spicy themed beers. This, you know, uh, I kind of forgot what this pack was. I just kept remember seeing a whole bunch of Flying Dog in my fridge for the last <laughs> week or two. I'm like, oh. So, for this... time's sake, we will go ahead and brush up on this first one. If you happen to know or drinking along, we are having uh, the Did... Shishito Rice Ale. Shishito. Um, we all Shishita. stuffed with the bottle. Um, I'm not going to be the one to butcher this. <laughs> <laughs> um, so did anybody right. check? Oh, okay then. Shishito is a type of pepper. Yeah. Hey. Shishito peppers. You all right. Gra you greatly overestimate my uh, uh, my attention to, uh, uh, to detail, I guess. Mm. <laughs> so Shishito oh. Rice L is kind of a combination of rice wine and and beer with some peppers that are added in there um it comes in with a fresh yet smoky spice um which has it smells, inspired... it smells <laughs> smoky it does uh brown yeah. rice over malt um l yeast for sake so it's a sake yeast in there um and they could go on and on it says comes in at 5.3 percent abv hop bitterness at 20 ibus specialty malts are brown rice carapils biscuit and acidulated malt that's interesting they use acidulated but i like it uh saws hops and sake and ardennes ardennes hmm. i've never heard of that yeast 
Oh, no. That sucks, Tyler. You couldn't get a hold of it. We're gonna, oh. we're gonna go French. We're gonna say Arden. <laughs> <laughs> the Shishido pepper, which uh, I think we should talk about the pepper that goes into each of these. Yeah. Um, because it is a, a heat type of uh, pack. Uh, is a Korean pepper. Um, mm. it's very wrinkly on its surface. It's a small, finger long, slender, and thin walled pepper. Turns from green to red upon ripening and is usually harvested while green. This has a very green pepper type aroma to it. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, yeah. The aroma, um, if you dig in, it smells like green, green peppers pepper and white flavor. rice. I had to find out what this because it smelled so interesting. I had to mm -hmm. had to get my tongue in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. God, I'm having a weird day. <laughs> <laughs> you had to get smell it with your tongue. I just can't. Uh, well, it's, it's we've had a good run. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Um, so for cooking, a hole is poked in the pepper beforehand <laughs> to keep it from expanding with hot air and bursting the pepper. Hmm. Go figure, right? Bursting the pepper is the name of my Red Hot Chili Peppers cover band. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's broiled and then grilled. And I think that may be what they've done here because it's got that smokiness to it. I think they yeah. may have grilled these or smoked these or, or done something to them like on the chipotle type pepper side. So this is I don't know, I don't know anything about peppers. Uh, I know there's black pepper, and I put it on mashed potatoes. That is a different kind, but sure. So, Casey, <laughs> what would the difference between... So, this is a rice ale that just happens to have peppers in it, but what's the difference between this and just a smoked ale? Oh, so a uh, smoked ale, you would smoke the actual malt. So this has okay. the, the peppers that have been smoked. And gotcha. so, smoked ales probably were what most ales and... Well, what most ales were, and that's just because whenever ales were created, the only way to dry the malt was to do it over a fire or over at least some smoldering um, heat, which would have been fire-based uh, at some point. Um, so by doing that, you could smoke the malt also. Smoked malts were kind of a, a side thing it wasn't exactly what they were looking for mm. it was just you know it, it happened and so smoked beers are to emulate those old style um malt drying techniques hey, 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 hey. Uh, so what's everybody think about this beer i like so it. it smells like green like like uh bell peppers green bell peppers yeah mm -hmm. the taste though uh, I, I really like smoked ales and this i was yeah. i was scared about all of these in that like I've had beers with peppers in them that have that strong oh, yeah. aftertaste, like that bite at the end that kind of burns your throat. And I was scared that these were all going to do that. And this is not doing that to me. So no, I'm happy. This, this has, um, Casey, I may be using the wrong, wrong word here. Does, is it, does it have like a, a, a is it vegetal? Vegetal. Yes. That's exactly because what I would call it. It's got that, it's got a, it gets, it comes with that green peppering flavor, I think, because it's got it that. It's like I'm eating literally just a pure yeah. green green pepper. And we could say we're right on the edge of uh, freshness for these bottles. I think they their best buy date was three days ago. So, you know, we're we're right on the edge of it. Yeah. But I think they didn't lose a whole lot in the last three days, you know. Probably yeah, not. I think we're okay. Uh, but, and um, this is, it's, it's interesting. What what do you guys think? I, I'm on board. Um, it's not amazing. It's just it's very different. And and it takes some getting used to, but I I'm actually I'm I'm liking this one. The more the more I drink, the more it's uh, it's growing on me. That first I because I had no idea what to expect that first sip. Right. So, I love pepper beers mostly because you get some fruitiness from the pepper. Um, even some of the hottest peppers in the world have this really weird tropical note to them, like suntan lotion, coconutty, pineapple-y. Um, just a really cool tropical note. I and wish I had our friend, our friend Matt's hat collection. Just as soon as you said tropical, you could just come back and wear like a big sombrero or a beach hat or something. Be like, yeah. Matt's got a fruit hat somewhere. Come on. Yeah. Oh, God, he does. Out picking fruit somewhere. Um, but this beer is more on the vegetal side of that. And I think yeah. if you went with anything, uh, since it is Korean, since it is Asian, South Asian area, um, I think that it's only appropriate that you went with the sake type of feel with that rice in there. Yeah. Um, and I think that would be pretty cool. I feel like that helps make, and I could be wrong, but I feel like that makes it like a lighter flavor than right. the normal. Because there's so, like yeah, a hint it's, of it's, smoke. It's, 
what's on display here is the pepper, not necessarily anything else. You're absolutely yeah. right. And this could have been a lager just as easily as it could have been a sake-based ale because um, when you look at your North American lagers, your Budweiser, Miller, Coors, um, those are made with some with corn, some with rice that just add flavor from the – they add no flavor, actually. They just add um, – they just add uh, fermentables. Filler. Yeah, and, and it reduces the flavorfulness of the beer uh, whenever you add corn or rice in there. And so that's what they've done here is just let the, the pepper itself shine through. Yeah, it's a great shine idea. I love this one. I mean, it to me, it really – it smells and tastes like a grilled green bell pepper with some white rice. The, you got it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm feeling like if you added a little beef juice in here, it would be a fajita. Oh yeah, <laughs> mm. little beef stock and, and on that <laughs> fajita beer. Could you imagine making fajitas like uh, drunken beans out of this? Oh, oh right? I need to buy some of this now and like so, we're gonna start <laughs> grill like put this in in there while you're like oh yeah. This is this officially be... the second beer then that I want to try tacos with. <laughs> I want to make tacos from this. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. I, I like, agree. Um, I agree. Uh, because like, oh, remember I, I chicken taco with some of this in there and There's you're you're the, on the um... you're on the right track with chicken because you don't I, yeah. I think beef probably would overpower it now that yeah, you mentioned but that. I think yeah. if you put chicken with this, oh god, yeah, like some like a good chicken taco. There's still <clears> that um <throat> the uh the oh the New Belgium uh lime tastic. Although thing. Nick point I want to put Nick points out, uh, hey, there's beer made from pork. Why scrapple. not beef? Yes, the uh, <laughs> dogfish scrapple beer from last year. I love mm. that. I miss it. Oh, oh yeah, the uh, the anti kosher. Beer. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Um, let's talk a little bit about the brewery. Oh yeah, um, Flying Dog Brewery. Uh, they started in uh, in 1990. George Stranahan. Stephanopoulos. Stranahan? George, I feel like sure I'm not going to work here anymore. Um, yeah. no, this I feel like it the... should be older than 1990, but at the same time, 1990 is like 28 like a... years ago. So, yeah. But, um, uh... We're all Sorry, I have to just... contemplate my own mortality a minute before I can continue reading. Thanks, Casey. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, anyway, uh, George Stromhan uh, opened the Flying Dog Brew Pub in Aspen, Colorado. <laughs> Is the first brewery to open in Aspen in over a hundred years. It is one of the first brew pubs in the Rocky Mountain region. Uh, the demand for Flying Dog quickly grew beyond the brew pub's capacity. So, in 1994, the company opened a 50-barrel brewery in Denver, Colorado, uh, which was again. yeah, which was a joint venture with the brew pub Wine Coop Brewing Company. Yeah, Wine Coop. Wine Coop. Uh, okay. Hmm? Wine Coop. What? I believe. Wine Coop. Okay. Uh, in 2000, Flying Dog purchased Wincoop's interest in the uh, brewery and opened a second location in Denver at... Do they call it Flying the Coop Brewery? Oh. That should be that should be the case. Oh. If not, why not? Oh. Coming very... back all night. A... <laughs> Take your way. He'll, he'll be here all night, kids. Try the veal. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, they opened a second location in Denver at... Uh, 2401 Blake Street looking to expand again in 2006. <laughs> they purchased the Frederick Brewing Company in Frederick, Maryland in May and began producing beer in both Maryland and Colorado. Uh, they also acquired the Wild Goose brand and uh, produced those beers until 2010 when the brand was sold to Logan Shaw Brewing Company. Man, they're doing a lot of buying. Yeah. Hey. They started off right, I guess. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna have to uh, use this in our next episode, or not our next, our next episode, but uh, is it next? Uh, next video. Next video episode, yeah. Oh. When we do the trivia episode. Oh, right, right, right. Indeed. Spoilers. You know what? Speaking of which, uh, what a good segue into announcements. <laughs> well, I'm not really finished with that. <laughs> I, was like, I mean, I'm not really Let done, but okay. <laughs> so, well, and, I mean, uh, that, after he finishes, obviously. Okay. Uh, at the time, the Denver brewery was in need of at least 100 million. Uh, sorry, one million for infrastructure improvements. Flying Dog, also uh, exper experiencing its strongest growth to date, could surpass Denver production levels by concentrating in Maryland. Uh, 
sorry, uh, Flying Dog Brewery had the capacity to brew 100,000 barrels per year in 2015. They are currently upgrading the facility to produce 700,000 barrels per year. As of uh, 2017, they have left the Brewers Association. That was, an, again, one of those news stories that slipped through the cracks because when we do news is on the audio podcast on off weeks, but they effectively canceled their Brewers Association membership. Hmm. That's over 9,000. It is over 9,000 barrels. <sighs> I figure yeah. we're on Twitch now. I should pander to the uh, video game audience. It, it right. is over 9,000. It was yeah. already over 9,000 at 100,000. <laughs> And then, <laughs> I did not realize that they started in Aspen, Colorado, though. I didn't either. Yeah. That, that like, really, it messes with some of my travel plans. Because in order to get from Salt Lake to Denver, I had planned on going up through Wyoming. But it looks like... I don't think they're there if anymore, I go, are they? If I go through, uh, if I go south instead to Denver... I it's about the same distance, and crazy. I could go to Flying Dog. They've closed their all their operations are East Coast now. They fully embraced. Yeah, they closed. Embraced, they closed yeah, everything. Somehow that that line missed in that thing, but they they closed down in in Denver to yeah to grow east. Yeah. So oh, they, all the okay. Bottles so there was in 2007. They they announced it was closing its Denver brewery to produce solely out of Frederick facility. Yeah, they no uh, longer. Okay. So brew Frederick, out of Frederick is, okay. Frederick, Maryland. I didn't catch the Frederick, Maryland. I was thinking of somewhere else. Which, okay, that makes my travel I mean, that plans just kind of furthers easier. the whole, like, we need an East Coast trip at some point, too, you know? Yeah, um, and that's whenever I look at my my whole map of where, I, uh, where I've drank a beer in the United States, the Northeast is one of those places I really need to take a road trip. Mm-hmm. And so... We all need to. Um, I'd love one to go of to their the Dogfish most... Inn. Yeah. What's that? I'd love to go to the Dogfish Inn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know like where the, I would love to go? The uh, up to to the Brew Dogs. Oh, in Columbus, big facility. the beer hotel. Yeah. yeah, true. To their hotel, yeah. When it's finished. Yep. Let's let's break into this next beer. Oh, how did you know? I I, I popped popped the tap on that one. <laughs> um, and we can talk about it a little bit, and then get into some announcements. While you're pouring that there. Right. Um, yeah. What are the announcements? Huh. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, um, oh, so... don't worry about it. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and uh, explain what this beer is first. Okay. Um, this is the Cherry Bomb Gosa. So Gosa, for those of you that are oh, not in the know, Gosa is a beer that is sort of light, um, not very hoppy, not not very malty, but has sort of a saltiness to it. And so with the saltiness they have a little bit of a sweet cherry that comes in there with its pe- peppers. Um, so I'm you can, assuming you can see the cherry. Yeah. Oh yeah. That color. This thing. I thought I poured Rubeus for a minute, like a uh, really light Rubeus. Yeah. yeah. That, that's very close. Um, there is, I think a sweet cherry pepper. Yes. Oh, it's the pimento pepper oh. that comes in the middle of olives. Okay. That makes Ooh. sense now. Um, so they use sweet cherry. I'm thinking the fruit. And Sweet the, cherry pepper, ba, and, ba, ba. and they're both balanced by the traditional gosa tartness. It's it also in addition to the saltiness, it's a sour beer. Um, yeah, perfect trifecta defined: sweetness, heat, and saltiness. Wow. <laughs> Actually, I would I would call cool. it a quadfecta because it's got the sweet, salty, hot, and sour. Oh. Yeah, it's a it's a complex beer. Let me tell you that right now. <laughs> yeah, that is. Oh, that's interesting. It's got a got a little funk in that smell. I, yeah, but it does not... definitely up the gosa. It's not a clean, uh, less than clean gosa. But the, not, not the very spiciness, clean. yeah, the spiciness definitely messes with you. On I, the... I don't get the pepper flavor though. No. I, like I don't get a pepper aroma in the aroma. I'm it may be a... just me after two no, martinis, no. but I get some heat down no, the back I, of my throat. I get, yes. I get a little bit. I get a little bit of pepper. More heat than I expect out of liquid. Yeah, um, I get cherry, <laughs> and mostly I'm tasting cherry. Although it looks- as it goes on, and like I'm talking, and air is going over my tongue, more heat, more heat. Yeah, yeah. Gonna we are in. we are drinking these in um, in heat succession. I guess the the mildness. Of heat. Yeah, they're gonna get hotter. Mildest first. So by the end of this, we're gonna be like. <sighs> <laughs> Say, oh, it's so hot. I have to drink something to cool it off. Oh, God, what have I done? <laughs> that is delicious. It's worse. 
That it's really that is good. Absolutely that is absolutely amazingly so delicious. Unique. So unique. Yeah. Uh, comes in at 4.7 ABV with 20 IBUs. Um, they're not trying to kill us with IBUs. Even on the the high end, it's only 40 IBUs on on this pack. Um, but this one comes with wheat and oats, and that heat builds, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yep. Oh, it does. It's like it, creeping up. <laughs> it's not like I have to have a glass of water, but it's like back in your throat type of heat. Yeah, no, yeah, it's, yeah. It, yeah. It's not that bad. It's just it's it's. You it's notice like, it more and more as it goes on. It's the heat when uh, you just used... had some hot wings. Yeah, like a little bit of after the fact of very mild hot wings, I yeah. think. Um, or a very Tabasco-y Bloody Mary. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably more accurate. The more you talk, the more it uh, the heat builds up with all that air moving across everything. Whew. Yeah, you're just like, oh, oh, what have I done? I'm a dragon. I made a huge mistake. <laughs> So we move away from the vegetalness of that earlier beer and towards a more sweet pepper. Like a, I could even see red bell pepper. Um, I, I liked how they use the cherries with this because it's got that extra flavor in there where the pepper is just kind of adding a little heat, a little bit of that background sweetness. Have you ever had a pepadu? Uh, pepadu. Uh, so whenever – who is the pizza, pizza place? The uh, Domino's, I think, started doing pepadus on their – uh, pizzas. Oh, hells yeah. What oh. yes. are you talking about? We only know what they are because uh, they used to have them at Mad Tree, and they would they were goat cheese stuffed pepadus. Oh. I know. What is a and pepadu? They, it's, a, it's a pepper. It's, and it's a pepper that is equally somehow sim- like spicy and sweet. It's ah. really strange, and it's red, and it, it's it's really good. It's just really strange. Oh my, the burps. <laughs> <laughs> oh. the burps are dangerous oh it, so, it burns in my Brittany, chest it's mm. funny that you you mentioned pepadus because i'm gonna need some acid by the end of this episode <laughs> right are the same pepper as a sweet cherry pepper oh, okay oh. that explains it's the that, exact same pepper you've got you're a super taster you don't know it but you're a super taster i'm putting that on my she resume tastes everything <laughs> including campbell's soup can campbell's tomato soup can uh, on my I think I did say they use German ale yeast and perlay hops, right? Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, and <laughs> they this the specialty malts in this beer are wheat and oats. The oats are actually going to add a little bit of creaminess to it. And mm-hmm. in addition to that creaminess, they'll also uh, give you a little bit of that sensation of it's it's cooling off your palate. So I love this beer. I think this is probably one of the most innovative beers I've had in the past few it's months. It's really nice. I shouldn't have had that pizza for if I'd known if I'd oh. remembered we were doing pepper beer. Yeah. Take, take yeah, take an extra sand tack there. Uh, Brittany, wow. do you want to talk about some announcements? Right, right, right. Yes. Um, okay. So the first one is obviously, but uh, probably not obvious to the Diamond Club people, but uh, we are attempting to simultaneously stream on diamondclub.tv and twitch.tv. Um, so we just created our Twitch site. Um, it is, once again, because branding, uh, have a drink show. So twitch.tv slash have a drink show. This is our first ever attempt to stream there. <laughs> Hopefully, it all goes well. Let's let's see how long it is before Justin gets us taken down, <laughs> yeah. or before they realize what we're doing, and then they're like, "Nope, you can't drink beer no. at all." So we asked them. <laughs> we sent them an email, and we're like, Send "Oh, this too. is what the show is. We just want to cover our bases to make sure you know this is clear and where we should put ourselves." Yeah. And social eating, we're like it's social drinking, so why not social eating? But they, we were just like, is this okay? And we explained the gist of these episodes, and they said, we have no idea. Basically, just go for it, and if we take you down, we take you down. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, oh, well, good. So cool. basically their advice was follow your heart. Yes. That's and, basically and what it comes down we to. We followed our hearts. So we're going to try That's it said, and see what di- happens. It's, it's much e- it was much easier for Diamond Club. Hey, do you want to be on this? Can we be on your thing? Yeah, sure. Do whatever you Here's want. Here's a key. <laughs> Here's keys. Lock up when you're done. Yeah. Lock up when you're done. <laughs> Essentially. Um, but so, and then uh, next mm-hmm. video stream, we'll get, um, we're going to also try to do uh, YouTube now, which I guess was formerly YouTube live. I don't know because Google and their Yeah, you branding. said YouTube now. And I was like, as opposed to what? YouTube then? <laughs> I, yes. Much like HBO now or HBO go. Do you want to go or do you want to do it now? Um, go means you have a cable box, so you need to go <laughs> away from it to watch it on the bathroom. Yes, <laughs> true. Now means I want my t- I want my Game of Thrones, and I want it now. Yeah, on my phone somehow. Um, 
but yeah, so we're gonna try the YouTube live stream thing basically next time. <laughs> <The heat. laughs> and, you want uh, the same cherry beer? No, yeah, I am. I'm just joking. Oh, like, it's it, really it hot. Just keeps surprising me how much it comes up. It just keeps building in the back of your throat. <laughs> uh, okay, so and then the next, so we want to mention, um, as mentioned at the top of the show, we do an audio only podcast on the off weeks from this video show. So our audio show is focused on um, educational topics. So we talk, cover beer styles, we cover spirits, we cover uh, history, it ed- educational topics, and by that we mean we still drink and <laughs> oh, we get wasty. Yeah, depending on the episode. But um, the next one is going to be posted around august 21st and that's going to be covering alternatives <laughs> so yeah. thank- it's not always beer yeah it, yeah um uh, kids we've done some whiskey episodes we've got some vodka episodes we've done the lager episode, the lager <laughs> episodes yeah what's the next one huh? alternatives whiskey drink take a vodka oh, we haven't done a take cider a episode drink. cider so, drink we haven't oh, done a cider have- episode yet we, we haven't. haven't no it's it's on the list we talked about yeah. it last yeah. time it's 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 coming we have a lot it of topics to. guys Speaking how, of how are you going to get brian uh, wait, wait. yeah brian right i Who? think so yes you mean justin brian Scott from denver brian. oh okay brian, brian yeah. from denver how are we yeah. going to get him to watch if we don't do a cider episode yeah exactly. right. okay fi- uh last one is the next video episode after this will be in two more weeks and that's going to be on uh well, it's a, a slightly different video episode for us. So normally we do a sampler pack tasting and let you know like if the, if it's worth buying or not, that kind of thing. This one is going to be slightly different, and it's going to be the What's Your Price Beer Buyout Trivia Game. <laughs> <laughs> so definitely make sure to stay tuned for that in the next two weeks. I, I just want Casey to be there with a tiny little game, you know, uh, uh, Price is Right microphone. I know. I want to invest in one. I'm going to see. I'm going to see. My wife gives me all just, my allowance. Just buy it. So. Just, just buy a, a a lavalier mic and then just put it at the end of a stick. <laughs> yeah, that's essentially it. <laughs> but um, I wanted to say thank you to Casey for our last yes. audio episode for writing out the script. Uh, he did the whole episode on wines because we are very ignorant on the topic. So oh, we'll very ignorant in my for case. Us and want to say thank you very much for doing that one, Casey. No need, no need. He did a good job, despite the fact that I hate wine and everything it stands for. (laughs) I I tried to pick one that was close enough to uh, something you wouldn't hate. And I thought, like, I would have more wine because, you know, I I was told that they red wine is good for two weeks after you've opened it. And I was like, sure, I'll... I'll, Uh, I know, I know. I I was like, I'll drink it sooner than that, obviously. Like, I have not had a single drink since the wine episode. (laughs) It's sitting back there, and we're going to dump it out probably sometime this week. Yeah, no, wine's a thing that... You need uh, you either need to try to jam that cork back in, but the damage is kind of done by that point. Yeah. Or you need one of those uh those pump uh the aerator yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. Do we do we want do we want the science behind it? Sure. Drop I mean how out. air is oxidizing the air is. Shit. You got it. That's yeah. exactly what's happening. Yeah. We've got a um a stopper. We we like we had a stopper that we got, but I don't know. Obviously, that's not enough compared to like a cork or the aerator thing. But um, everyone used to laugh at me when I'd be closing up at the end of the day when I was bartending, and I'd just be like pumping air out of out of bottles of wine. They're like, "What are you doing? I'm trying to save this wine for another few days? <laughs> yeah. Trying to save the company some days. money? Why? I don't know. Well, that was the thing. Like literally, if you open a bottle of wine, we would put a day dot on it, and it was about two or th- about two days usually hmm. uh past that we there's a chance it might have tried to go into food i've well that's true i've had <laughs> i've had it after i've opened it not obviously not this particular one but i've had red wine like you know uh within a week i think after opening it honestly <laughs> tastes the same to me i guess i'm just i'm like i'm super not a wine person uh did it make you feel so fun make you better all <laughs> the, the red, time red wine? yeah uh no it didn't uh... actually it, it hurt my stomach <laughs> it turns uh... out so yeah. Uh, I really want. We should have found a, a way Mr. to play Rebond. that. Have you guys finished this already? Yeah. Jesus. Uh, so, I hadn't quite finished, but I've only got. I'm only pouring like half a beer, but right. I'll come back to these last two. Oh. The, and now the heat at the end. On... Jeez. Yeah, oh. it builds. Yeah, it does. Um. We're we're building up to this chocolate habanero. Habanero. Oh. oh, it's a stout. Yes, yes, the the drink of my people. <laughs> Alcoholics. I need, I need like, some ooh. water before this. So I'm getting much 
uh, this is sort of in between the last two beers as far as the peppery flavor goes, That's or scary. the peppery aroma. So yeah, we are moving on to the chocolate habanero stout. If you happen to find a pack and are drinking along, um, as you swirl it in the glass, oh, look tell at me that. if you get the same thing. But it's dark. sort of like a, a, it almost it's so dark it splits up into. Um, I can't swirl. It's too like full. Yeah. red and green colors, like two different things of the spectrum. It's a really weird, hmm. like an oil slick almost. Oh yeah, but that's a thing that happens with. I, I bet I bet it happens more with peppers because a lot of that is capsaicin oil. Yeah. Sorry. Could be floating right up top. Yeah. This smells uh, really good. You know, I have never told the story of when I tried to isolate capsaicin. Have I? I don't think I don't so. Know what story you're talking about? Why don't you lay it on? Oh, okay. Uh, we'll we'll tell that this episode, uh, spent, since it is a spicy beer episode. Um, so this chocolate habanero stout comes with sweet chocolate that evolves into heat that lingers. The yeah. stuff of legends. I want to buy this pack again, by the way. I or do at, too. <laughs> it's gone. Or at least we've already least. gone to like buy it again. Buy this pack. <laughs> it's and, uh, you do it. <laughs> um, or at the very least, some pretty sweet jazz lyrics. Um, ABV is 6.3%. Hop bitterness is 30 IBU. And if you don't know those acronyms, we've got an episode that you can go <laughs> check out on your favorite podcatcher at Have a Drink Show. Mm. Um, then you can <laughs> check out their specialty malts, which are roasted malt, chocolate malt, black malt, and oats. I want I wanted Hall to be on that list. <laughs> Hall and oats. <laughs> um, I'm going to create a Hall Malt. Hall malt. That way you can have Hall and Oats beer. <laughs> uh, the I'm going to call it Man Eater. <laughs> That's what the beer has to be called. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to call the beer Man Eater. Oh, he's a glory. Man Eater. Um, the malt is a Goldings malt, which comes from I believe it's Goldings, uh, UK, and the yeast is Chico yeast. So we don't talk about yeast and where they come from a lot, but I do think that Chico is one of the ones that we should talk about because do you know where, do you know the beer term or the beer company that is in Chico? In Chico. Now. The um, company is inside of Chico? Yeah. Chico is in California. Yeah. No idea. Feel... Do you know where, uh... the brewery that is there? Is that the original location for um, Lagunitas? No. So, Sierra Nevada. Ah, that's... So, this is Sierra Nevada's basic... Basically, they can't say it's Sierra Nevada's yeast, but it's Chico yeast, which means it's Sierra Nevada's yeast. Huh. Chico. Hmm. So. This is really freaking hot. Very clean. Um, it just is. a little bit of fruitiness. I'm getting some aroma. I'm, I'm definitely getting the chocolatey. Definitely getting that that roasted malt flavored. Hey, um, Tyler got it. It's, your it's like fifty percent chocolate, forty percent. Um, <laughs> good job. Yeah, I just saw that, Tyler. Um, it's uh forty percent probably roasty, and then the other ten percent is probably the fruitiness from the the habanero. That is some heat. Mm. It's not it's as intense, heat, but it, it, as... it doesn't seem like it's in, as intense right away. Spicy stouts have been a big thing this year, <clears throat> and well, who was it? I can't remember who brewed it. We got it when we were out west. I had that big Mexican hot chocolate. That was too much. That's that the was, one I get scared about. It was a bomber, <laughs> and I planned for me and her to split it while we were with my family at a cabin. She had one sip and said, oh, God, no. So I had to drink the whole bomber by myself, and <laughs> I was on fire. It, you, I mean, it was it was so much more intense than this even is. And it, it was like you, you got it at the beginning. Like your tongue was on fire. I mean, there was no just like, oh, there's some heat at the end. No, no, like you're. It's like you just had the hottest wings possible. This is this is more like hot wings, like that you would have with some <sighs> Texas Pete on wings with a little bit of butter or margarine. But like, like that's the flavor I'm getting. But it's this... got it's got a a silkiness to it that I don't expect yeah. right away. Oats, oats. oats. Oh, 
That's that's why Hall keeps them around. Oats for uh, the goats. <laughs> all of these beers except the first have oats in them to help okay. calm that heat down just a little bit. That's fair. That's good. Good for them. Yeah. So when I pepper sprayed myself. <laughs> um. So we were. I, I don't want to say we were creating a beverage that was illegal. But what he does want to say is that the Geneva Convention came down and stopped him. <laughs> <laughs> if you, uh, whenever you look at the evaporation point of various different things out there, so you look at the evaporation point of water, the evaporation, or sorry, not the evaporation point, but the um, the the point at which water goes into vapor, or that alcohol goes into vapor. Or that capsa capsaicin goes into vapor. Um, it goes alcohol first, uh, which is how you get liquor, um, then water, and then capsaicin. So the idea is that if you were to put hot peppers into alcohol, uh, capsaicin is water soluble, and so are the aromatic compounds. So you would get the aromatics off of that pepper, um, and then you would not get the water but you would just get the alcohol that comes off so you would have maybe I don't know, what was that what would that be called maybe distilling something like that i don't know i don't know what that would be called i don't know about the details um all i know is it'll get you drunk <laughs> but if you continue on capsaicin's evaporation point is much higher than water so you could keep going and you could get all the water off and then eventually get the capsaicin isolated so you could have like I this, this, this heat source where you could just put a couple drops in and you would have like heat for chili and so that was that was kind of my idea was let's just let everything else come off and i could have the capsaicin left behind like knees coming ahead coming forward that <laughs> So I start this on the, the stove, and I, I don't know. I, I think I'm still around, but my wife is in the next room, and, and Ashley's like, um, are you sure that's okay? And are you sure this is going okay? I'm, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, by the end of this, we have all the windows open. Our eyes are burning like we've been pepper sprayed, and I've got this pot of capsaicin steaming and smoking that I've thrown outside. Um, it, it did not end well. But we were able to isolate capsaicin, at least, uh, from the other compounds and <laughs> um, pepper sprayed the entire house at the same time. <laughs> so how did the cats bear with say, that? How did the cats All the cats hated it. Like, you couldn't go upstairs without your eyes burning. Like, it, you were, you, there was vaporized capsaicin through the entire home. Oh. Were the cats just, like, hiding, hissing at everything, blind, like... <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of like this really weird meowing time. I like to imagine sound. them trying to run away from it, but it's gotten in their eyes, so they're blind, and so they just run into walls. Oh it's yeah, it was like your eyes were watering. It was <laughs> Ashley was yelling at me. She was she was very upset. The time Casey pepper sprayed the entire Price household. <laughs> that like Should this be do. like aer aerosolizing into the air? Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> that was the same year those those peppers that i was that i was using for that is the was the carolina reaper oh, God. Is, yes. was at the time i don't know if it still is but it was at the time the the hottest pepper in the world it's not anymore but uh yeah. no 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 I, oh. I, like i couldn't do it like this is hot enough I, i'm only like i'm at sriracha level and that's like a a, a low to moderate level of sriracha you know I can't oh, go oh, that much. Oh, by harder. the way, uh, speaking of of spice, this is this goes more pleasantly than than okay. poor. This is just me, <laughs> no. just me talking about food. Uh, mm. But uh, I, I've taken now the when I make if I make burgers, I'm going to marinate them. Oh, oh yeah. I put some sriracha in there. Yes. Oh yeah. Takes just like some like a basic A1 marinade or something, and I pour some sriracha in there. It's like, hmm, it's a little spicier than I'm going to want it. That's when I reach over into the uh, into the cabinet and pull out the maple syrup and just pour that in oh. there. Mix that all in there. Always a good idea. Oh. oh. You, you, keep you know how we got like the this. Scoville scale, right? Oh, uh, uh, no. Okay, so uh, it's, it's funny that you – well, not funny, but it, it's it's serendipitous that you mentioned – 
It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it's serendipitous that you mentioned something sweet because that's how you get the Scoville. So um, the the Scoville scale is based on how many sprays of a sugar syrup it takes to neutralize the heat and, on your tongue. And that was my thought because I was thinking like, okay, I'm basically working in the sense of like complementary color. Yeah, you know, like I need I need something from the other end of the spectrum mm -hmm. to calm that down. So I'm gonna put some maple syrup in there. So it was just a little bit spicy, but it tasted like you know maple. That's yeah. fine. Yeah, that would be delicious. Oh, Dude, burping's it... dangerous. Oh, do what? Burping is dangerous. Hurts. Oh, it is. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. I hope you don't have. Uh... Although now I want to put bourbon. In. Yes. We've put bourbon in our chili before, and it's been amazing. Oh yeah. Oh. Um. I'm tell this is this is gonna lead to our beer cooking episode where we slowly but surely. we sit around on a live stream and we and just, just experiment beer. with with beer flavors into cooking. We do we need to do that and that, that's another good video idea honestly. And and we were watching um, Ashley Paramore's stream over the weekend. Was it this weekend? It's at some point. Last right, weekend. Recently. And uh, I was watching her stream once while making meatloaf, and I felt awkward. <laughs> well, like she's got like five different freaking camera views and like the cutting, you know. And I'm like, we should totally. I know. Do I'm just beer. laughing though because I'm like, oh, look, this is a nice little vegan meal they're making, meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> Although, I take the sausage and I cram it with the beef. <laughs> <laughs> but like the um, the vegan thing, like the she made bacon for fake bacon, oh? and it sounded a, really a good. Vegan? Yeah, yeah, she is. Yeah. That makes sense, <laughs> yeah. then. But, like, she made eggplant and, and dehydrated it after mm -hmm. marinating it, and it tasted like bacon. And I was like, I want to, I'm, oh. I'm at least intrigued, you know? Um, Yeah, I know. I But, and she was, like, so much work involved. In it, but I, so I was like, that's a one day. We're going to try that thing. But, um, no, the food thing reminds me, uh, if you guys do come back up here at some point and we have time to go get food, we mm -hmm. just tried, um, so Ooh. there's this food truck around here called what? Red Sesame, and oh. they now have a, lo a a restaurant location inside Jungle Gyms in Eastgate. Oh, and sorry, sorry. I just read Nick saying there's a great, uh, Emerald has a recipe for etouffee that has beer in it. Firestone yeah. DBA like, goes really well. Yeah, I'm oh, that's, on board. That's I was like, oh, yeah. That's totally yeah, that, we're on board. It doesn't take much. Um, of course, of course, and it goes with the, uh, the, Firestone, the Firestone double barrel L that we can't get. <laughs> yeah, uh, Cappy's carries it. Really? We have, yeah, we have connections. Make a trip. The only place you can get Firestone in this region is up at Cappy's. Um, but anyway, <laughs> the uh, ooh, herbal butter maker. What? Okay, oh. sorry. I don't need to know about butter right now. Um, <laughs> I want, I want an herbal butter maker <laughs> when we're we're talking about oh, herbal. A, a special no okay see you're not talking about herbal you're talking about the chronic <laughs> it's an herb. oh you have to tell everybody <laughs> it burns oh it creeps okay. up and gets stronger but anyway so there's a, the red sesame has oh. a restaurant inside jungle gyms and it's korean barbecue and they have these hot dogs that are covered in kimchi I, and I um and lettuce and like cabbage weird. and stuff but the kimchi hot dogs are like one of the best flavors in the whole universe so you guys the, you all were saying you were, you started to cook with more kimchi yeah we got some I saw pictures of this and all i could think of was no this is not for me <laughs> oh it's delicious <laughs> but um, and, and there's no way to describe it because it's it's, it's a, a texture dunk. thing well oh, okay that the texture would make sense actually because it's really crunchy and if you're not used to that on your hot dog it's weird but um the kimchi has the umami flavor so it's actually a mm -hmm. you can't even describe like you know what you're really getting out of it because you have to try it to know but it's so good. It's oh funny. My God. Um, we were talking with the guy at the restaurant about well, what kind of kimchi they were using. He's like, oh, we ferment our own. And then he just yeah. suggested us because we've gotten a jar that was over fermented. And it was just extremely sour. And he's like, he's like, I ferment my own at home. He's like, you all should probably just, he's like, it's easy. Just start fermenting your own. So we're probably going to look into just fermenting our own kimchi from now on. Yeah, but we did get this giant jar. And this week we're doing kimchi tacos. Yes. With chicken. Oh, well, you got to add a little something else, else in there. Well, yeah, we're going to have, like, um, kimchi and, and shredded chicken. And the chicken has okay. its own recipe Some sort to of it. protein. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, avocados and, you know. I was like, the we hot put dogs, avocados on everything. The hot dog, it was literally a hot dog. It was an all-beef dog with a little bit of cheese, a little bit. I think there was, like, a couple of leaves of lettuce or something on there. Some kind of yeah, let lettuce, cabbage, and then the kimchi. Yeah. Speaking of, speaking of food, it reminds me um, – 
we are we are coming close to the high holy days of our year. <laughs> um, right. It's uh it's coming close to Oktoberfest time. Uh we're we're probably not gonna do the exact same Mertzen Bowl thing coming up, but we may have something coming up. Yes, that is a good announcement. Uh, coming up around up. that time. I figure so, we should tre- like start start spreading out the levels of excitement. Um I do have to say though, if you are and I, I could maybe get you a couple copies of the right right chapters of this. Kimchi and beer have a lot in common because they are fermented foods and and drink. Um, Sandor Katz has this amazing book called The Art of Fermentation that I have to recommend. I thought he was literally going to say Sandor Clegane. (laughs) (laughs) I don't even know what that is, first off, but I will get you – I will – oh, okay. So I just got finished. No, 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 no. no. Is is it Sandor or is it – yeah, yeah, yeah Sandor. Sandor Gregor's Sandor. the mountain. <laughs> Gregor is the mountain. Okay. I just got finished with the first season of uh, Westworld, and I have not been further than the second season of Game of Thrones. I know. Don't send me the emails. No, it's fine. Um, we're, send we're... him the emails. <laughs> I won't send get them, them either now. way. Uh, but the uh, I would Casey highly Price recommend. Gmail.com. <laughs> send you just called me out on the internet. Oh, wow. Um, I dox- would... You just doxed him. <laughs> <laughs> um I, I i rarely like that email i check probably once a week um so i would highly recommend though the art of fermentation and i'll send you all i'll i'll, I'll see if i can like rent it to you or something do some way oh. with the way i've got the book so that way Zou, can... the art of fermentation <laughs> the art of fermentation uh is the best book for fermented foods okay. in my wedding registry I had a fermentation weight for a crock. If that tells you how far down that road I like to go, wow. I've got a an aunt, a uh, great aunt who uh, is Korean and can do all kinds of these these fermented cabbages. So That's I'll get you amazing. some tips. Yeah. <laughs> Bless, Bless you. you, Bob. Sorry. All right. Um, I couldn't get to the mic. I couldn't get to the mutant time. I was just like. <laughs> This is gonna happen. Just gonna <laughs> my, mute, my mute makes a noise anyway, so. Hmm. All right. Uh, well, are we ready to move I on? I still have the other beer. <laughs> I'm I'm pouring right now. It's oh, time. Well. Um, Dump. Dump. I have drank all of the cherry bomb gosa. Oh, it was so it was good. Good. Uh, oh, cherry bomb gosa was good. That that habanero stout. The stout. I think stouts are really smart for the pepper stuff. <clears throat> yeah. The you okay, gotta be so... really fruity. Yeah, spicy stouts have been spreading this year. It's actually a lot bigger than I was expecting, but it's been been experimental this year. I've liked it because uh, just like the first the first line of this description of the the experimental IPA, hop amplifies spice. <laughs> uh oh, I'm I'm scared. All right, I'm genuinely all right, scared. Let's get this bad boy. So going. this is the highest. It's an IPA, so it's it's the highest out of all these on IBUs, but still only forty. Um, the highest ABV, which is 7.0 uh, ABV, and highest on heat. I wish we had a capsaicin scale for these beers. Yes. Okay. Cool. So this one, this one has more of the tropical fruitiness in it that you won't get in these earlier beers, but is kind of a more of the the, the really fruity really of course really fruity but really hot peppers out there are more along this lines of um heat dig your nose and and aroma oh my gosh it's a really good smell dig in like oh god oh god i drank (laughs) i'm scared by that reaction does not it does not smell hot I'll no, give you that. The smell it's, is just IPA. It's peppery, kind of hoppy and mangoey is what I like. What, uh, there's some a little bit like... of mango, yeah. Um, oh, the two mango. hops that are in it are hop uh, HBC 291 and HBC 431. Uh, HBC 291 has recently been named Laurel, and it's a dual purpose hop. And 431 is also a dual purpose hop, meaning that they've got high alpha acid, but also really good aroma compounds. Um, when you're looking at the laurel hop, you're looking at floral, oh citrus, fruity, and herbal. <laughs> when you're looking at 431, which has not had a 
uh, naming convention put to it. Uh, it's floral, citrus, spicy, tropical fruit, fruity, and herbal. And we say herb. <laughs> Can we say herb? Take a drink. It's a fucking H. <laughs> oh. Oh. I've seen the habanero sculpin. I haven't gone with it. Um, I have. That's hot. That's a know, lot of heat. That's what I'm saying. Level, I was like, oh god, I was unprepared. That's a lot of heat for a beer. To put oh it, um, boy. Yeah, that's hot. <laughs> um, I love this. What was the bells when we had at Jungle Gym? <laughs> oh my goodness. I will say this is the best oh. pack that we've ever had. It's been yeah. This was this has been a fun pack. If you're if you're into it, like I. I'm having tr struggles with this one, and I've only had a sip. I'm, like, I'm starting to get a bit of a sweat going about this. Oh, <laughs> that's, oh yeah, that's God. where I'm at. I'm like, oh. It's more on the experimental side. Like, if you're into experimental beers, this Ooh. is definitely the way to go. Uh, Bells did. I built that a rabbit hole when you were talking, by the way, and now I've been trying to find the exact name of what Marvin the Martian uh, has. At, uh, uh, at the the, the uh, Illidium... Q36 oh. explosive space yeah. modulator. Oh, the modulator. Dude, I'm um, not making it. Bell's had, it was it. probably the spiciest beer I've ever had. It was some kind of peppered mango uh, IPA, I think. And it was at. I think it was a habanero mango. Yeah. And it was at Jungle Gym. Tasted Jim's a little beer bit fest. of the mango. Oh, God, here's the spice. Ah! I just spice slammed flows. it because it was a beer fest and we were just trying to move along. And I was like, I'll oh, screw it. It's right here. I just got to pour. And I just like slammed all like four ounces at once. And I took a step away, and then I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> this hurts. <laughs> Could you imagine if this beer did not have the oats in it? Oh, my. Oh. Woo. Nope. <laughs> that creaminess oh. just balances it out. And, and the best thing about having a beer with heat is, okay, it releases endorphins. Heat releases endorphins. But whenever you're having a, trying to stir up um, crap. <laughs> a hot wing – the you eat the hot wing and it gets like all around your mouth it's yeah. not even in your, your mouth and so point, like yeah. i'm burning everywhere now with this beer i'm just inside my mouth i'm burning that's and it my throat my throat is like on fire right now so this is this is similar to applebee's <laughs> uh, half half hot half mild mixed together it's it yeah it, it's honestly not the hottest thing i've ever put in my mouth mm-hmm I'm gonna need to get a if you want to know the outline, <laughs> if, where is that going? If you want to be able to feel the outline of your digestive tract, take a big <laughs> swig, and suddenly you'll be able to feel the entire shape of your esophagus down into your stomach, and then you'll feel it start coating, and you'll go, "Oh God!" Look, I don't need to feel so, how much damage I've done to that thing over the years. One moment, please, for Tyler. <laughs> I have had the best beer in the world, according to certain magazines out there certain uh, reputable publications publications that don't get funding from other places uh, Best I'll, I'll beer in the country that. they said not the world um but i it's not about okay so what if somebody came along and said budweiser makes the best beer in the world just They're tasting liars, obviously would you would you still come by and say, oh, yeah, I love Budweiser because they make the best beer in the world? Or would you say, Budweiser is an evil company that hates everyone that drinks beer and uh, right, not drink don't that? Don't say that about Bells because I'm not a crazy person. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I have to stick to this now just because you it's do. Funny. It's your stick but... moving forward. You could never like a Bells beer. You could have a Bells beer that's You'd be like, that's actually pretty good. You could never admit it publicly. You'd have to swallow will, that pride. I will say it's good. I will not say the company is good. No. But it's like, okay, I but it's like. Want, any... I, I, I'm going to like find a way to sneak pictures of like Casey drinking beer going, this is Casey with Bell's Two Hearted IP, IPA. <gasps> I think I sent you all a picture once of me drinking a Bell's beer after the fact. I mean, it's like a. I don't know. It's it's like some of the the Budweiser purchased companies that like. I mean, there's still some, like for, okay. We were actually talking about the the pumpkin beers the other day, and I one of my favorite pumpkin beers is the um, pumpkin porter from Red Hook, which is owned by mm -hmm. AB InBev. Yep. So which makes me sad, but it's a good beer. Like there well, aren't that many pumpkin really porters. Punk, they wouldn't have to put that logo on there. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah. Thanks for the callback though. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, um, oh, it hurts. I will breathing. agree it's a good beer. I don't know if it's the best beer in the world. 
Um, there's there's a El Coco ranks up there for me. El Coco. Rub it in. Whew. Only uh, There's some heat. Half Man, I need some El Coco to calm my mouth down. That right would now. do great to that calm this down. That would be amazing. Oh my God. Heat and coconut. <laughs> oh, Thai Thai food goes well with coconut. That's the that, that, that's the reason. Your spicy coconut cream ale. Oh mm. yeah. Okay, I can't yeah. do this. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> oh well. My throat hurts. Brittany's gonna get dry. <laughs> it's so tasty, but it burns so bad down my throat. It hurts so good. <laughs> oh, it doesn't burn down my throat. It just basically is eroding what's left of my of my epiglottis. Mm. Oh, I can't. Oh, it hurts. This is the, the oh. Okay, I understand why we did this in heat order now. You know. Whew. I completely think that you are a super taster. Because this you is like can't... too spicy. There is evidence that the more heat you can stand, the less you can actually taste. Oh, that's fair. Because like some stuff is just hot for the sake of being hot, and there's no flavor whatsoever. I don't understand yeah. the point in that. Yeah. Like I can't. I don't know. I want to enjoy the things that I ingest. <laughs> oh, my lips are burning now, though. Right? Yeah. No, mine are. Oh uh, no! I I Things, things are, are not dancing. on fire. Okay, so. <laughs> So the conclusion that's a, that's a, that's a made a Casey callback. That, Sorry. That's a uh, that's a deep cut right there. That's a, that's an inside baseball joke. <laughs> oh gosh, so, yeah. Conclusion on the pack. I guess a buy, buy if you're interested in spicy stuff and you want yeah, experimental even things. Get buy it. it. It's delicious. Yeah, okay. do it. Yeah, if you've never had spicy beers, this is definitely a great way to run you up the game. Forget gamut. it. Yeah. If, uh, you are not, it. if you are not allergic to capsaicin, buy it. Oh yeah, it's a good if point. nothing that's... else, for the cherry bomb gosa. That said, if you are if you are not a fan, uh, like if if you like kind of like some spicy things, but you don't want to go too crazy. The 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 uh, experimental might be too much for you. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh hot. Is it, so what what is everybody's favorite out of the pack? Like uh, the habanero, um, habanero stout. Uh, stout. Mm. I think Casey's is probably really? the what was it? cherry bomb goza all yeah. the way. It was good, but the chocolate. You stout. all are just stout lovers. Well, mine, that, this yeah. is also well, true, but mine is between. You can't judge me based on what what I like. The man this speaks true. You asked me what I liked most out of the mm. pack. I really oh, liked. Yeah. I actually okay. I the first three really were the best to me, and I don't know if I can pick a favorite out of those three. I do not. I do not like the fourth one because it's too spicy for me. But I was really intrigued by the first one because the spice level was so balanced that it tasted like a smoked beer to me. So I really liked that aspect of it. But the cherry bomb ghost was very unique, and then spicy chocolate just makes sense to me. So I, I those first three are good on my book. Yeah, this Mexican spice cake thing that started this year around breweries mm -hmm. and is spreading what yeah mexican spice cake don't don't, don't uh, worry it dragon's start, milk it did not start this year mexican well, spice it's, cake, cake has been long. around it caught yeah. on it caught it's on a big long time this and storied year. tradition i'm well, just yeah. now going wait 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 what are we talking about mexican spice cake i we're talking about well because our... dragon's milk yeah, had, had some of that mexican spice cake <laughs> Uh, but dragon's milk had theirs and then somebody else oh um evil twin evil twin evil twin did theirs this year too so, in beer, it seems like a, a, a hotter thing, I guess. Yeah. I'm, I don't know. It's great, and it seems to be working this. out for me. So, in closing, Bless your heart. we would like uh, <laughs> anybody tuning in on Twitch or anybody new from Diamond Club, uh, we very appreciate you tuning in and having a drink with us. Uh, hey, branding. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, so, branding. this has been a video episode about... Tasting a this has been a video so good night <laughs> no nationally distributed have a drink uh, hopes you've enjoyed this yeah. episode. <laughs> nationally distributed <laughs> pack of beer hopefully we can all come together and drink these try them together that's the point of these and we also do an off week so we decide it's a new point where it's like yeah. uh i'm just turning on the camera yeah uh this is actually the off week thing our main our main jam the main show is the audio only podcast uh anywhere fine podcasts are had Yes. Anywhere fine podcasts or so. Yeah. Whew. But it's the vapors. <laughs> right? They're strong. Like it, it's hard to talk I'm after sweating. having a lot of this. But uh, it's educational. I'll be the finishing audio. up the rest of this after the, the show. So Twitch Twitch will have twitch.tv slash have a drink show 
will have all of the pre-show and post-show. Yes, yeah. uh, YouTube will. will as well. I guess we're kind of doing this movie I'm just gonna, yeah, I may just give up and just post the whole damn thing. It makes it easier <laughs> on her. She is editor-in-chief. She takes care of all of that. She's our producer, She's... editor. No, no, no. Sorry. She's the J. Joe Jameson. Robbie Robertson was the was the publisher. Of the exactly. Cool. All right, let's go. i got to pee. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, oh. so. Oh, yeah, it's our then, then you. Then if we were wrapping up, Casey, you start. Oh, it oh, is. <laughs> Subscribe and get some great resources at haveadrinkshow.com. Follow us at Have a Drink Show on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, as well as Twitch. Rate the show on iTunes and help spread the word. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't forget to tell us your favorite drink, uh, ask a question, or just leave some general feedback. Use the feedback. Uh, use the email address feedback at haveadrinkshow.com. Um, you know, toss us weird ideas for episodes, weird beers that no one else like that that maybe we can try to find. Yeah, anything you want to do, beer just, fest, you've been to anything let us know what's going on we'd love to hear from you guys you you want to tell us about a about a weird fungus growing on your toe i'll read it don't do it don't do it (laughs) all right uh all joking and fun aside guys like to remind everyone to please drink responsibly uber lyft it's not too expensive and we didn't get into what we're doing this weekend but when i get blackout drunk at a brewery i call my wife to come and get me blackout we did that that last but that's good yeah that was on the audio episode yeah that was audio all right. Um, so check us out in another couple of weeks for the next video. But in the meantime, the audio episode will be uh, about a week ish, um, and that's going to be the uh, the one we mentioned earlier. Alternatives. Yeah. So yes, what's our what's our next audio episode? So, uh, alternatives. alternatives is the next audio, and then the next video in two weeks is going to be our trivia game. Playing games. So name um, their price. <laughs> so uh, ba, 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 da, once again, I'm Brittany Lee Walker. I'm Justin Frazier. I'm Christopher Walker. And I'm Casey Price. We'll see you next time. Bye. All right, guys. Adios. Uh, post show stuff, I guess. Stick around. We'll talk a little more in post. Another song. Have a bathroom break. Yeah. <laughs> We're peeing now. I have heartburn. Two people watching us on Twitch, I guess, and I think it's like us. Yeah, it's uh, it maybe now. Um, yeah, probably. One of them was a uh, was a buddy of mine. Oh, sweet. Yeah, he was in the Twitch chat. I was trying to talk in both chats, so if you heard clicking. No, see, I, I try had to stay the, in the chat. Try to stay involved phone. in the chat rooms. I don't. I didn't. Ha- I didn't see anything on the chat on on my phone. It's weird. Yeah, I. I don't. I don't know how. <sighs> the chat in mobile Twitch is weird, and I don't care for it as much. Dumb. I got to figure out how um, to how to manage my because what it is is like when we go live, um, I just do full screen. That way, you guys are basically <laughs> positioned under our webcam, so I'm like looking toward the <laughs> I mean, like positioning correctly. Um, so yeah, the, after the, after that we go live, it's like hard to manage the windows. Mm. Oh yeah, I had <laughs> like I'm literally getting heartburn. Oh my god, I, I can't oh. even finish that IPA one. That's like hardcore. It's it's pretty spicy. Oh like, neat. And I, I I enjoy the occasional pepper beer, but this was this is car- crazy. Whew. Yeah. So I like how Tyler. You, you can't you... mail us. You can't mail us stuff, Tyler. It's um, illegal. We live in Kentucky, and we really have stupid laws here. Like, let's not even get into the rest of it, but the liquor laws are really dumb in Kentucky, specifically. So, If you're trying to move things around. Now, if you live here and want to consume things here, mainly bourbon, it just rains from the heavens. What uh, what we should do is set up a small, uh, like a P.O. box somewhere in Cincinnati. In Ohio, then... yeah. We've thought about that before, but, honestly. But what I like how he said this. He said, I still want some dragon's milk. Hey, my local beer store has mailer boxes, so we could send him some. <laughs> Have you not had dragon's milk at all, Tyler? Like, I'm sure he's not had regular it? dragon's milk. I think he's talking about the variants. I don't know. I mean, he says he, he wants some dragon's milk. I that could mean anything. Oh, hey, Cor- uh, Casey's brother-in-law is in. Oh, Corey's in. Hey, Sea Scale dog. Um, <clears throat> speaking of, we have uh, a lot of 
some flying dog in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> but either way, uh, Tyler, let me know. Uh, send send your mailing place to that uh, email address that I sent you earlier, and I will try to get you some dragon's milk. And if we can find it, if you guys find it, go ahead and buy it, and I will reimburse you on I may these have beers backup right here, bottles the blind of, dog beers. I have not of uh, this, but I have backup bottles of every dragon's milk variant this year. Yeah. You want uh, to distribute up there, there at all. Um, okay. I will send you some of that and some special bottles of some other stuff. No. I mean, I'm I'm just saying Casey may have told me before you can you can you may be able to get past the Kentucky laws by just labeling Call it, it glassware. Supplies. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. It's it's yeast samples not for consumption. That's what you put in there. <laughs> um no, I don't know if Nick left, but do either of you guys in chat, Tyler or Nick? <coughs> Bless you. Um, either of you sneeze. Have, yeah. Do either of you have access to Flying Dog at all? Like, do you? I I can understand not finding this pack because it was weird. We found it at um, Jungle Gym's International Market near us. So like, yeah, we, we lucked. This into was this. not common to see. But do you guys see any of their stuff? Yeast samples. <laughs> Yeast samples. Because like we've seen a lot of random Flying Dog stuff here and there. Like I want to try more of their stuff I, still. Flying Dog is the one that had the the cleanest oyster stuff. Oh, right? the pearl necklace. That stuff's amazing. Pearl necklace. Yeah. Yes. Amazing. Which yeah. speaking of names, that's. Okay, if we want to talk about it real quick, the reason they probably left the Brewers Association is because of the names of their beers okay. and the fact that they've been barred. Oh, that's and right, Raging sued. Bitch. That was the reason they got like, sued they, over Raging they got, Bitch. Yeah, they got in trouble with the. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you can go to their Wikipedia page and they have like there's a whole section about uh, them being sued and uh, like a lot of the names of their beers because they're all pretty outrageous. They have a thing for Hunter S. Thompson. The well, same they, artist they, does their uh, stuff. Is it is it the same artist? I knew it was yeah. someone trying to do that style. No, so. it's the same yeah. artist. Yeah. So, same same artist behind you know the Fear and Loathing series. Yeah. Okay, so he does get Flying Dog up there. So like that, I was surprised to find this pack as well because they have a regular like sampler pack, which we should totally also try at some point too. Um, but this one we saw and was just like, no, this is different enough that we have to try this, you know, because nobody ha nobody else is doing a heat series, you know. That's mm. it's pretty rare. Um, there was another. Uh, who was the place we did that had like like the one hop? Oh, the Smash like, special the Shaffley. 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 I think they may have had different. With. They may have had a new one of those packs come out because uh, oh. a friend of mine brought one of those up to our game night, and I was like, oh, I want to try this. But that was also the night I brought, like, all kinds of weird shit. So I was like, uh... Slaffily announced they've discontinued that series. They're no longer doing the Smash Packs. Oh, that's stupid. Oh. Well, I mean, it's not... Unless you're a show like ours, you really don't sell a whole lot of them. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it makes sense financially. I'm just sad, because it was a really cool idea. Yeah. Agreed. Oh, oh man. <sighs> that's some good heat. It's, it's it's a good heat. It's, it's a dry heat. <laughs> no, it's a. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's wet. <laughs> it's clearly Quite wet. wet. This is clearly wet. This is a. You got to listen to the audio episode, kids. Oh, oh. I am going to see. Oh. I, I wonder if I could put both chats under our overlay, like the Twitch and the. Um, maybe, maybe if you did left and right, doing some experimentation. Or yeah, if you did like top and bottom. Oh shit! I got to no. this tab. Because uh, Twitch chat, I'm uh, sorry, Diamond Club chat does not shrink. Not well. <laughs> uh, not well, no. Yeah, we'd have to shrink the actual image. Sorry, I'm just thinking off offhand. This, could... this is not I... the first interesting uh, beer we've had this week. We had um, oh. the Pickle Gosa oh, God. earlier this week. It was Ooh. fine. From Urban Tell Artifact. me more, tell me more. It, it like, was exactly as you imagined it should <laughs> he be. He did, and it, it went really fast. It tastes like pickle gosa. It like, tastes like a pickle, like, like straight up so you're drinking pickle juice. Let me let me go ahead mm. and put this out there for anybody that's listening. By the way, um, C Skelly at uh, Twitch. So if you go to twitch.tv slash C S K E L L Y, um, you can find on. Tuesday, I don't know what time exactly, but he is going to be doing a Mario 64 fast run. Nice. And Ooh. this goes this goes really well with us. He's going to be taking a shot every 10 stars. 
<laughs> so uh i would highly suggest going out that direction and checking that uh glhm that view on gd games done drunk yeah <laughs> gdg um for sure how do you get to the damn chat am i dumb i'm too dumb Which for twitch chat? you're just on the page yeah how do go i to get... the video like go to the stream live. i am this is the this is it it's not live it's not doing anything but Huh. But, I'm too but, stupid for Twitch. But, 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 it's. I don't. Did you stop the stream? No. All I get is whispers. Whispers. Yeah, I don't have a chat thingy. Careless oh, whispers. I, I need Adobe Flash. Has it been that long? <clears throat> Are they seriously still doing Flash? Is that what you mean? Because <laughs> Adobe announced they're going to stop doing Flash stuff. Like weeks ago. I don't know. It's usually just there on the side of the page. I'm, I'm a little yeah. confused by what's going on right now, but at the same time, eh, whatever. Bob, well, how do you right? get to the chat? Oh my goodness, this chocolate have... habanero stout is hot. Yeah. <sighs> Let it keep warming up. <sighs> There's so much heat coming up the back of my throat. Oh my oh. god, yeah. Yeah, girl. I'm going to have the most amazing indigestion when I wake up at 1 a.m. But that's that's when I have to get up for work. So. Oh, oh, really, Chris? You're gonna have amazing indigestion. That's nice. When I wake it sounds up, sounds pleasant work. compared to acid in your nose. Oh crap! Bye, Nick. I didn't even see that that in the oh. chat. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh. Bye, Nick. See you, Nick. Poop. Hopefully he sees that later. I don't know. Pat. I don't know when he sent that. Um. Yeah, that's so weird. We'll we'll figure out this this chat thing. We could just do. I, I'm convinced that um. TMS is doing the Discord chat and just saying to hell with all of it. <laughs> just like, and that's what they're having up on the, sh the stream. So maybe we could do that. I don't know. I'd rather do Diamond Club. Yeah, I know. For now. Uh, until I we just, decide. I have no. Why they're... isn't the chat coming up? Am I crazy? Do I have it disabled? No, I couldn't have it disabled. You guys were talking to people. Yeah, I don't know. No, we were talking to people. I got to um... figure out the Twitch thing, I guess. Anyway, at least it worked. Like, it, the stream happened. Hey, Brittany. Dude. What what software yeah. are we using to stream, Britt? You, OBS. Uh, we use OBS, and then there's something else. There's an overlay and OBS, and then what are you using? The uh, something.io, right? Restream.io is is yeah. what's simultaneously streaming us to DCTV and Twitch. A couple different places, yeah. Yeah, yeah so I'm, I'm sure that's why there's a bit of a lag or whatever. But um, And then next next week or next week two weeks in the next video we'll try youtube at the same time so we'll do three different places at once juggling yeah we'll see how building that goes. we're seeing what our internet connection can handle yeah <laughs> Come on, you're, you're going up when this baby gets to 88 megabytes per second <laughs> you're gonna see some, some serious, serious shit, shit. <laughs> some serious shutdown otherwise um yeah. But um, thing so on, like, on beers dude. tonight, we've had the same beers, but on mixed drinks. I mean, I've still got some bourbon. I've got to go to later. Yeah, because you guys are staying up. Of course you do. Uh, well, no, it's Game of Thrones night, so I've got to have whiskey. Right. So tomorrow's yes. Game of Thrones day for us. I'm so glad lately my schedules have like Mondays off, because I mean, I like oh, I have a couple glasses, a couple glasses of uh whiskey after doing an episode yeah. and i don't have to like wake up and go i have to go to work hungover again you can half alcoholize it well we had to finish up orphan black today so mm -hmm. we went through oh how was that huh i like watched intermediate it, intermittent uh, like intermittent episodes of that how was it you need the continuity all the way through I, it's good they they finished the really? series very well the the writers were like no we have a story to tell we're gonna shut up we're gonna. <laughs> you didn't like it because it was a happy ending. It's a weak mm. ass ending, but the yeah. series is a great ride. Like it is a yeah. fantastic ride, and it's like you get to the end, you're like, "Oh shit's going down," and then you're like, "No, it didn't really go down." There's gotcha. there's a guy who I there's a a writer who I heard once that said um, that there's there's a I'm not gonna say that there's two kinds of writers in the world, but like depending on the kind of fiction that they're doing um a lot of people like know 
exactly where it's going to end. Right. And so their beginning and their ending is solid, but they kind of lose some stuff in the middle. This has not happened with some, this. And then you've got some people who know the general theme of the story they want to tell, and they like they 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 might have a strong beginning, but they have a really good middle middle section, and then by the end, it's just it's kind of all over the place because they try to kind of just plan as they go. Yeah, I I think this is this was actually strong throughout. Um, the ending is I can I think depending on how you want things to end. Like he's he's they... not about super tied up, and I'm like, no, this is a th- I I I like this ending. So they, they tie too much up, and it's too, it's what you wanted. I'll give you that. Okay, yeah. I didn't want sunshine, rainbows, and unicorns, uh, hard stars, oh, clovers, and blue moons. Okay, I see. But there's still, I mean, there's still some things that happened that were kind of into i mean we watched... it got weird in the middle okay they lost their way in the middle i think that's when they regained it and they're like okay no we know where how we're gonna finally end this yeah that's true so they pushed it because in the middle it gets real like sci-fi channel originally like it gets pretty weird the whole thing's pretty i mean no, it's very science fiction sci-fi channel original sir i will remind you that eureka was a sci-fi channel thank original. you very much i love and that, that show. are you saying pretty... it's good or bad though <laughs> eureka got pretty effing weird amazing. But Eureka was always supposed to be that weird. It was like, always supposed to be weird. I never love that show. The weird. Stein. We've got to find Dunkel going. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, no, Orphan Black. I, I, we. So we watched the last three, and it's the whole, the whole series is over. So it's actually a good time to binge it because it's all on Amazon Prime, and uh, <laughs> well, it's from BBC America, but it's on Amazon Prime exclusively for for restreaming, and. Uh, it's a it's a good time to watch it, but like I, I love the whole story. Like the they they really develop the characters really well. So all right, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna get real here for for all you thirty year old men, watching. Mm-hmm. Uh, Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Oh, I'll form the head. Is on is on Netflix. That's they have on the our new, list. The new, the, really. The, the, Okay, they have a new version of Voltron done by the guys who did done by one of the guys who did Avatar: The Last Airbender. Okay. The, the cartoon, not not yeah. the show, not, not the movie that I refuse to acknowledge ever existed. That um, is on our list of things to watch. Oh, uh, Avatar? Vol- the Last Vol- Airbender? No, 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 Voltron. Because uh, Brushwood oh. keeps talking about it. It's so good. It has a really good balance of, of comedy and seriousness while still being animated. Right. But it's still like, it's a, it's a good all ages kind of show. Um and the most recent season was only like seven or so episodes. Like they just did a quick season and they were done. And mm. I was like, this was great. We still uh, have to watch. Um, because they, they did like it. two whole seasons with, uh, with what, like what was typically like the first three or four episodes of, uh, of the original Voltron or as Americans understood Voltron. Hmm. Voltron's like two different shows like slammed together. That makes sense for what really? that is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, it and uh, uh, Robotech were kind of infamous for that. Robotech is like three different shows that they just that were three completely separate little animated you know Japanese shows. They went eh, these things are close enough. We, we have the rights to all of them. Let's just try to make them one thing. Yeah. Um, but but the the new Voltron show is great. Plus, they they do a Mirror Universe episode with, uh, and there's a reference in there that I absolutely love, and it's it's made for like dorks like me that still remember the name, like remember most of the names, the original Voltron wow. pilots. And oh, sorry, I thought I muted my phone, and apparently the vibrator was still on. <laughs> The, the same time you said, whoop, I was getting killed from behind by a, uh, uh, w- w- the flying rocket launcher on Overwatch. Uh, Farah? Farah. And, good job, Britt. Yes, and Mama it Bo. worked out, so you went, oh, <laughs> as I was getting destroyed. Justice oh, reigns yeah. from above. No, not justice. Justice reigns from my hook when I'm playing Roadhog. <laughs> yeah. Hook <laughs> that bitch. Shoot her in the face. Still need to buy that it game. Feels, it feels really good when you hook. Again. It, it feels really good when, when you hook a Farah as Roadhog. Hmm. Especially I, when she does her ultimate. Like, 
Justice comes from nowhere. <laughs> Each shotgun. I was still, so I was debating on whether or not to buy that game or get the, the yes. Hearthstone, Hearthstone expansion. Uh, and then buy I, that game. I went the for the Hearthstone expansion. expansion. I went for the Hearthstone expansion because I we've had, what I usually have more time to play Hearthstone because I can play Hearthstone while I'm editing the audio episodes with like no sound on or whatever. You play Overwatch all the time. But you have to be, like, I want to be immersive in Overwatch. Like, I can't do that on the side or play it on my phone or, you know what I mean? It's no, not. No, you, what you need to do is play some Blood Bowl. Uh, Bob's been trying to get me on that for a while. He I sent have. it to us. All right. But I, think... I bought it for them. Yeah. It was on sale. I think we've run over on oh, yeah. streamed yeah. posts. So I think we need to hang up the stream now. Uh, anybody still lingering around on Twitch? Check out, well, there's like two years of audio episodes. <laughs> And on oh YouTube, God, we've been doing this for two years. Yeah. yeah. Uh, YouTube's got like a backlog of twelve or thirteen episodes of the videos you can check out, but they'll also be on here moving forward. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. All right. Anybody oh. tuning in? Uh, we'll catch you next time. All next right. Week. All right.